Hi everyone, it's been another exciting year for Chrome OS and it's all thanks to you. I am Fahad Imtiaz and I am a product manager on the Chrome OS apps team. And I'm Travis Gorkin, a Chrome OS engineering manager. We are thrilled to share what we have been up to in the past year. However you bring your ideas to life, we have been hard at work to give you better tools, more support, and a fast, simple, and secure environment to keep developing world-class experiences. Maybe you are building a fantasy game and you want it to be just as immersive on mobile as a desktop. Or you are an artist looking for a digital canvas that feels just like paper. Or a parent trying to juggle work and school under one roof. Maybe you are all three. No matter who you are or what you are building, you can create, experiment, and grow with Chrome OS. Let's dive right in with a roundup of what's new. We have continued to roll out powerful devices, tools, and software for users and developers. And we are excited by how people are using Chrome OS to grow in all areas of their lives. Today, we are reaching people, businesses, and schools in over 50 countries around the world. In the past two years, the education space has really transformed as schools invest more in technology to adapt to hybrid learning environments. For many students and educators, it's hard to imagine what school would be like without Chrome OS. Lightweight convertibility, long battery life, and stylus support make Chromebooks a top pick for more educators every year. And as more schools provide Chromebooks for students to take home, they are spending more time exploring on Chrome OS in and outside the classroom. That's a big reason why Chromebooks are the number one device in K-12 education globally. 50 million students and educators around the world are using Chromebooks to create, collaborate, and communicate. From video editing and 3D modeling to podcasting and coding, students and educators can explore something new every day on Chrome OS. And that means you have limitless opportunities to connect with new users and reimagine the classroom for future generations. To help you do just that, we recently launched tailored tips and how to's on chromeos.dev for building classroom tools. Make sure to check that out, along with the developing for 50 million Chromebooks in the classroom talk on io.google. We'll share a handful of talks and resources at the end. We are also making some incredible progress in enterprise. Throughout 2021, monthly active enterprise users increased by 20%. Call centers and contact centers are a big part of that growth. Chrome OS is helping these types of businesses grow quickly and easily with a secure computing environment and worry-free management. That need has been amplified more recently as a lot of customer support agents are now taking calls from home. But they are working on outdated equipment or handling sensitive conversations in places that aren't secure and private. So last year, we launched a fully integrated contact center solution on Chrome OS. Agents keep their company's information safe with our signature security and save up to three hours a week with automatic system updates. And you can make enterprise apps even more powerful by optimizing for WebRTC to help businesses stay agile and competitive. NiceCX1, a cloud-based contact center platform, is just one business that's needed to move fast to adapt to the modern workplace. Chrome OS has been a crucial part of helping NiceCX1 drive efficiency without compromising privacy. And we are dedicated to bringing this kind of tailored support to more industries, including healthcare. As virtual doctor's visits become more common, we are helping clinicians stay connected to their patients. 
We are currently working on features that empower healthcare providers to deliver timely patient care and use shared devices in a privacy safe way. We have heard a lot of great feedback from healthcare users trying these new solutions, such as Hackensack Meridian Health. And we'll have more updates to share in the next few months, so stay tuned. Along with easy to use devices powered by a modern OS, enterprise users also need apps that help them stay connected to their work, their teams, and their customers. We are excited to announce that Chrome OS.dev now has curated guidance for enterprise developers, making it easier than ever to build for businesses. Across countries and industries, none of this growth would be possible without our OEM partners. Collaborating with some of the biggest manufacturers in the world, we have introduced new devices and form factors that enable the seamless experiences today's users expect. First up, the HP Elite Dragonfly, which was first announced at CES earlier this year. It's a Chromebook with a lot of firsts, including a haptic trackpad for phone-like scrolling and tapping, 5G capabilities, and HDRnet AI-enhanced video conferencing. So you look great on your video calls, even the ones you aren't so excited about. The HP Elite Dragonfly also supports docks, external displays, and styluses. And Android Studio runs faster than ever. This makes it easy to code on multiple monitors and test Android apps with more than one input. And thanks to the Dragonfly's 5G capabilities, you can even build and test apps without relying on Wi-Fi. We have got another exciting and adaptable device coming later this year, the Asus CX-5. With a 16-inch screen, it has plenty of space for creating, working, developing, and playing. And since the Asus CX-5 is a convertible that supports a stylus, you'll be able to test tablet experiences and stylus apps on the same device. Next up is a device we launched last August, designed to live at the heart of people's homes, the HP Chromebase. The 90-degree rotating screen lets users get a new perspective with the flick of their wrist. Parents also get peace of mind with parental controls and the camera privacy switch. The Chromebase is a fresh form factor that gives users more room to work and play and offers you a creative platform for flexible designs that pivot along with the Chromebase. As we grow our product suite, we are always thinking about how we can keep devices in your hands and out of the e-waste for as long as possible. So back in February, we announced early access to Chrome OS Flex. Instead of throwing away old devices, you can refresh your PCs and Macs with the modern cloud-first OS. And the only thing you need to get started is a USB drive. Chrome OS Flex is free to download, easy for organizations to deploy, and provides proactive security against the latest threats. That's just a taste of what's to come. We'll be rolling out more than 75 new models of Chromebooks in 2022. Backed with the power, speed, and security of Chrome OS, users have even more options at their fingertips and you'll get the fast and secure foundation you need to create the apps, games, and experiences people love. Speaking of devices, how many have you used in the last 24 hours? I've used at least five, and I know I'm not alone there. Three years ago, one person in the US had an average of eight network devices. By the end of 2022, that number is expected to climb to 14, from smartphones and TVs to laptops and hearables, people are using more devices every day, often at the same time or hopping from one to the next. Just this morning, I got an email notification on my smartwatch that took me across three devices in two minutes. The notification came to my smartwatch. I grabbed my smartphone to open the email and then I switched to my laptop to get a better look at an attached presentation. 
Jumping from device to device like this is a normal part of our lives. But we all know how frustrating it can be when there's any friction along the way. Some devices are personal, some are shared, and they might run different operating systems across a range of form factors. At Chrome OS, we are always thinking of ways to make our hardware and software work more seamlessly together without too much setup or hassle. Let's take a spin through a couple features that do just that. First up is FastPair, which we'll be launching soon. FastPair will let users pair their Chromebooks with compatible headsets, headphones, and earbuds with a single tap. And once it's connected, their paired audio device will automatically stay linked to their account. That means users can quickly access device settings or check their earbuds' battery life so they don't lose audio in the middle of an important call, all without any additional setup. To make accessing and sharing content across devices even more seamless, we'll be launching Camera Roll later this year. Users will soon be able to pull up their most recent photos from their Android phones directly on their Chromebook's phone hub. It's a feature that will save a lot of time and help users share photos of everything from their morning coffee to their child's virtual graduation. We have also been working on new ways to bring in our mobile and desktop experiences together. For instance, later this year, users will be able to stream communication apps from phones running Android 13 or higher on all Chromebooks without reinstalling the app on their Chromebook. So if people are writing an email on their Chromebook, they will be able to respond to messages by accessing their phone's chat apps without missing a beat. For devices to work better together, we need apps that look and feel consistent across all form factors. That's where developers like you come in. So now, I'll pass it off to Travis to chat about apps on Chrome OS. Thanks, Fahad. Apps on Chrome OS are getting more and more popular. Whether people are watching their favorite show on Netflix, staying connected with friends and family on Zoom, or playing Minecraft Education Edition, they're discovering the apps they love on Chrome OS. As of February of this year, 83% of Chrome OS users are using apps outside the browser. We've seen a 270% increase in desktop PWA installs year over year. And in the past year alone, there's been a 50% year over year growth in Chrome OS users who engage with Android apps on Chromebooks. That's why so much of our focus is on bringing the best apps across platforms together so users enjoy the best possible experience. The web continues to be a powerful platform for building full featured app experiences. And we're thrilled that so many developers around the world have partnered with Chrome OS to build, test, and deliver amazing apps fueled by the latest web platform advancements. For years, we've made sure Chrome OS supports Android apps so users can enjoy the mobile apps they love on larger screens. And we know that to deliver the app experiences people crave, we need to make it easier for you to build for and on Chrome OS. So we fully enabled the Linux runtime last year to ease developer workflows. As we keep improving and bridging the platform gap, people will be able to find even more of the apps they love across a wider variety of devices. So for users, it won't matter if an app runs on the web, Android, or Linux. What people will care about is how easily they can find and enjoy apps on their go-to devices. Let's break down a few ways we're helping developers get their creations discovered, deliver a consistent experience, and preserve app fidelity. Google Play already spotlights desktop-optimized apps, but it doesn't list all of them. So we've been working on a new app discovery surface to help you reach engaged audiences by curating a collection of top apps for Chromebook users. Our vision for this discovery surface is that machine learning will eventually help fuel even more tailored app recommendations based on users' preferences, type of device, form factors, computing power, and more. And best of all, the discovery surface will guide users to the right way to install your app, whether it's listed on the Play Store or not. We'll also be introducing an improved Chrome OS launcher and search experience later this year. 
the launcher won't take up the full screen anymore, making it easier to multitask and keep your apps better organized. And we've updated the search feature to make it easier to find the cloud and play games you love with alphabetical and custom sorting options. But connecting users to apps is just the first step. The next step is making it easier for people to actually use whatever apps they want, whenever they want to. That's why we're improving features that help manage different runtimes, including full restore, file handling, and cloud storage integration. Let's start with full restore, which we launched last year. This feature restores both Android and web apps after reboot so users can quickly pick up right where they left off. It means less friction, a smoother workflow, and a better overall user experience. We're bridging Android and web apps even more by improving file handling on Chrome OS. Users will soon be able to double-click on a file, like a photo or a PDF attachment, and open it with a web app of their choice, just like they can do right now with a preferred Android app. And to make it easier for people to access the documents they need, we're working on features that will let users back up local files to their preferred cloud storage provider. Stay tuned as we roll out these improvements throughout the year. Today's users expect to enjoy the mobile apps they love on larger screens without compatibility issues. Content that gets cut off in split-screen mode is annoying, and it always looks weird when a portrait mode only app launches in full screen. So last year, we introduced improvements to better preserve app fidelity, such as easy window management. Android app users can easily switch between mobile and tablet views on Chrome OS without any lift on your part. You'll just want to make a few tweaks to your app's code to make sure users get the best experience on both layouts. You can find more details about those steps on chromeos.dev. And this year, we're doing even more to deliver consistently great experiences across screens. We recently introduced features that allow Android apps to support right-click, copy and paste, and window snap when they're in mobile or tablet view without developer intervention. Now people can use features they know and love while enjoying mobile apps on larger screens. Smoother app experience like these spark more app usage. So for developers who optimize and build for Chrome OS, there's a world of opportunity to engage across screens. The app experience on Chrome OS wouldn't be what it is without developers. In the past year, we've seen more Android and web developers build for Chrome OS than ever. Let's kick off with TikTok. Like so many of us, Chrome OS users have spent millions of minutes every month on TikTok's app. And not just on mobile. There was clear demand on desktops too. So earlier this year, TikTok published a PWA in Google Play. Now, Chromebook users can watch the latest TikTok videos on an app tailored to their screens. TikTok also optimized its Android app for large screen devices, such as tablets and foldables, making it easier for people to create and share content. Krita, the open source painting program, built a desktop optimized Android app from scratch and tailored the look, feel, and functionality for Chrome OS. The company had an existing app for Windows, Mac, and Linux, but it decided to start from square one to reinvent its workspace and refine its tools for Chromebook users. Users don't settle, and neither do developers. We're always amazed by how you step up to meet people's rising expectations for apps that are better, faster, and more powerful than before. That's why we're thrilled to announce LumaFusion will soon be available on Chrome OS. LumaFusion, an award-winning video editing app on iOS, has been working closely with Google to create a powerful, multi-track video editing experience on Android, optimized for large screens in Chrome OS. With LumaFusion, Chrome OS users will be able to process multiple 4K media tracks and access a range of audio and video effects, such as scaling, rotation, chroma keys, transparency, and more. Let's check it out. Over the past year, 
Developers have also optimized many enterprise apps for Chrome OS. Staying in touch is critical to any business, so we're excited by how communication apps are enhancing experiences for Chrome OS users. To improve desktop experiences for video conferencing, Cisco worked with the Chrome OS team to create a WebEx Meetings PWA. Cisco's PWA offers WebEx system administrators centralized configuration and security options, along with the HD video and audio that users love. And we've already heard some encouraging feedback from an executive at Cisco, G2 Patel. Chrome OS is unlocking more efficiencies for the company and giving its people more choice about how, where, and when to work. 8x8 is another app that optimized for Chrome OS by implementing the WebRTC soft phone. Now, enterprise users and contact center agents can get more from web-based interfaces by integrating the Chrome OS user presence to the 8x8 presence engine. So, if someone's device goes to sleep because they've walked away, 8x8 will show that user is busy. I know we've been chatting a lot about apps on Chrome OS. Can you blame us? There's a ton of new desktop optimized apps to explore, and we can't get enough. We've got a lot going on with games too. So if you'd like more details about that, check out the Expand Your Game with Chrome OS talk. We'll include that in our list of talks at the end. Our top priority is making sure both users and developers can find everything they need to grow. That's why we're going to keep creating new tools and features that empower you to build experiences people can use as they work, live, and play. So keep experimenting and creating. We're going to keep listening to what you need, and we can't wait to find new ways to keep growing together. Thanks, Travis. Before we wrap up our time together, I'd like to thank everyone for your interest in Chrome OS. We are going to keep working hard at making the web a more powerful platform for building and getting your apps discovered, creating better tools for Android developers to bring their experiences to larger screens, and ultimately making Chrome OS a better, faster, and more secure developing environment. There's a lot more on the way that we can't wait to share. So be sure to check out chromeos.dev for the latest. It's a one-stop shop for all you need to keep building for and on Chrome OS. We are always sharing developer case studies, code samples, and insightful how-tos. So no matter your skill level, what you're building, and who you are building for, you can find inspiration, tips, and technical guidance on the site. As you create more immersive, engaging experiences, keep these year's I.O. talks in your back pocket. They'll be here for you to replay at io.google whenever you need them. Thanks again for joining us at I.O. We can't wait to see the kinds of experiences you create this year. See you next time.